What is up, guys? Welcome back to the studio, live with another Marshall Inu video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about the YouTube channel Marshall Inu has started and some of the stars they have already brought on, as well as some amazing things that the Marshall Inu team is doing outside of the crypto world. But before we jump into that, guys, you know what it is. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let's get into the video. So as I said, guys, they started this YouTube channel, and it's been an amazing journey to be part of it. They have brought some insane stars, bringing on Aljamain Sterling, the undisputed UFC champion, uh, Charles Jordan. And they also we also did a live stream for UFC 274, which I think is really cool because we did some commentary, and it helps give the fans a fighter's perspective during the fights. Also, the GOAT Chael is always jumping on there. Uncle Chael with some amazing commentary. So, guys, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and check that out. Also, guys, if you didn't know, the last pay-per-view event, Marshall Inu rented out an entire mansion with a pool, hot tub, all that. And they brought some of your favorite fighters, and they brought the fans and Marshall Inu holders to come meet them, which I think is just an amazing thing. Because as you know, if you're an MMA fan, you could pay hundreds of dollars and wait a couple hours in a line just to meet your favorite fighter for about 15 seconds, get a signature and a picture. But Marshalline and what they're doing, they're renting out mansions, I believe, for the UFC, which is not confirmed yet. But what I'm hearing from the team is they're going to they're thinking about renting out either a mansion or probably a huge suite. Who knows? Maybe even the hangover suite for UFC 276 we we're not gonna be able to do ufc 275 because it is in singapore and we're not traveling out there but ufc 276 is in vegas and it's going to be an insane night of fights we have the middleweight championship with israel adesanya and jared cannonier which i always have my eyes on because i am a middleweight in the ufc you have the co-main event as alexander volkanovsky against the um the hawaiian max holloway for their trilogy which will be crazy. And then in the featured bout, you have the dangerous and, and crazy Sean Strickland, who has just been on a tear as of late. And if you follow him on Instagram or Twitter, the guy's crazy, but he's also kind of funny as well. But he's fighting the dangerous Alex Pereira, who if you don't know who he is, you just need to Google his name and check out some of his kickboxing fights. He was the glory middleweight and light heavyweight championship and has an insane pedigree of crazy knockouts. We also have a fan favorite, Sean O'Malley against uh, Pedro. Uh, we also have two more U uh, middleweight bouts, which I'll be watching. Uriah Hall, Andre Munez, Brad Tavares. Guys, look at these fights. It's, it's insane. You have the return of Misha Tate and also one of my favorite fighters, the ruthless Robbie Lawler. So I'm super excited for that, guys. Uh, from what I'm hearing from the Marshall new team, they're going to be renting out either a mansion or a suite, and we will all be there. And all you have to do is hold some Marshall Inu to get a chance to come meet and hang out with one of your favorite fighters. I love how Marshall Inu has just started this movement, and they're just a game-changer crypto that has just been setting trends all over the place. I believe Marshall Inu is at its floor, and it's going to continue to fly up 